Hi, good morning. I'm Tina Guerrero and I work at Del Castle Technical High School in the English as a Second Language Department and this is my colleague. I'm Bill Paulino, the ESL coordinator for the Newcastle County Votech School District and also primarily at Del Castle High School. And Tina had a great idea for our uh, growing EL population leading into yeah. this school year. Tina, would you like to talk about it? Yeah, I would. After last year's um, conference, there was so much talk about co-teaching and the importance of collaboration between content area teachers and ESL experts. Um, and our role is more or less as a specialist. So mm -hmm. what we decided to do is pilot this year in our English, uh, English language arts programs for ninth graders and 10th graders. Bill's covering ninth grade, I'm covering 10th grade, and we're team teaching with um, an academic teacher, and we're just, you know, giving this co-teaching thing a try, and um, we're in our second semester of the pilot, and we're finding we're having a lot of success. Absolutely. Um, we're getting to know our students, which has been really key, um, and we know that's important for culturally responsive instruction, um, that we have to know our kids and what they need, so we're finding that that's very successful. Absolutely, and um, just with the breakdown of the classes, we, we max out at about 50% ELs uh, with general education students. Occasionally there will be a few um, special education students in the class as well, but we notice with the um, high percentage of ELs within the classroom, they're becoming much more confident um, with their social language, with sharing out in class, um, volunteering their answers without having to be called upon, um, that kind of thing. So we're seeing a lot of growth both with academics and uh, social yeah. socialization and skills as well. We're also seeing because we're in the classroom every day that the kids have just much, become much more comfortable with asking for support. Absolutely. Um, there was a climate before of they would see us coming and students <laughs> would kind of be like, no, I'm fine, I don't need any help. Um, whereas now, like all the kids, you know, the regular ed, the special ed, the yes. ELs, they all just see us as part of the classroom landscape. And yes. so now, you know, we're free to support whoever needs it. Absolutely, and it kind of um, lends itself to other uh, content areas as well. So if the students know us from ELA and they see us pop into their social studies class or their math class, they're not as hesitant as they once were to ask us for support in those classes as well. So it's going very well yeah. for so a we first year pilot. I highly recommend if you have the resources, it's, mm -hmm. it's a good way to go. Absolutely.